Hello! Welcome back to... Is it... What kind of video is this going to be? Is it a vlog? Is it an antiquing video? It's a vlog antiquing video. Dude, is this a wooden bathtub? Get out of town. super hot day and I don't have the AC on in the car because it makes too much noise and it ruins the speaker. So this nice sweet little glow and glisten I have right now, it's not my skin quality, it's sweat. Today we're doing a viewer favorite type of video, which I haven't done in a while, which is antiquing, thrifting, scrounging, scavenging. I have a recommendation today from a friend for a place I've never been to and I'm so freaking excited. It's called Community Forklift Nonprofit Reuse warehouse a lot of words i feel like they could do with a little bit of rebranding because the name's a little clunky but i'm very excited actually where is it Lol. it is a salvage yard selling allegedly furniture textiles tables lighting fixtures marble and a bunch more i actually have never been to a salvage yard before like a loser i haven't been so i'm pretty excited i think it's gonna be a good time i don't really know what to expect i feel like it's like pretty intense digging you have to do that's what we're gonna do i think really what i need are like some decor pieces for a project i'm finishing up do i need anything for my home no not really but will i get something for myself most likely can i afford it absolutely not who cares I'm gonna go and just be inspired, which is really the most dangerous way to shop. When I get some stuff, I think I'll set it all up at home. I'm just getting sweatier and sweatier. I'll set it all up at home and show you how I style it. Let's kick it. here though no parking anytime cool so maybe maybe yes damn I even love this building the red faded brick and the green doors it's pretty dude It's a lie. I don't really have a list, like a shopping list for what I need. Usually when designers incorporate like salvaged items or antique items into client spaces, you have to approach the, the hunt with a little more flexibility. You know, maybe you're looking for a desk, maybe you're looking for a wardrobe, but I think it's really important to be open-minded and like open to being surprised and delighted and to see something that you're like, oh, I didn't even think of that as an option for this, but that would work great. To be open to possibility and isn't that a great role for life in general. I'm not good at it. I'm pretty close-minded, I'd say, but I'm working on it. I think this was $35. That's crazy. So obviously this is covered in plastic, but that would be like the coolest vintage sofa or like patio sofa instead of buying. They're so expensive. Like that would be so freaking neat. Fun. 10 bucks. Ooh, that's kind of a fun one. I also love a weird shaped mirror. Like, interesting shaped mirrors I always get because you can always like find some weird place for them. Stool. I've actually been thinking about getting a stool for my shower or something. Or like in your kitchen to set some stuff. Very sweet. And look at that. Very good to see people expressing themselves. I like this really simple little coat rack. 45. All right. find a pair of thrifted lamps because that's the only thing that's hard about thrifting. You often don't like get the pair. 
And I do still like symmetrical like hair lamps. What the heck is this? Look at this sweet little guy. He just needs some cleaning up. Oh, that's sweet. Ooh, I like this guy. I like this guy a lot. Hell yeah. a marble top dry dry sink they're called sometimes or wash stand and I would use this as like um, your like little vanity table in your bedroom you could put like your makeup and like a mirror here I love 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 this it just needs some cleaning up yo dog I gotta pee where can I pee is that allowed here Okay, wait, I found the bathroom, and in the bathroom, like, on the wall, it's painted green. They put up this, like, wainscoting, and it said, some paint available, it sounds like available here. So, like, in the bathroom, they did with, like, salvaged tile in the back and salvaged paint, and, like, look how cool this tile is. I just appreciate that they took the time to do the bathroom, which is more than, like, a lot of restaurants do, and it's just a salvage yard, and they did it with salvaged stuff, but... I just appreciate that. Holy sh look at this canopy bed and mashing armoire. Art Deco armoire and this huge canopy, holy crap. That's in really good condition. Let's see, the bed is 625. This whole armoire is 250. Get out of town. That's so neat. I love the idea of like a blue sink or like a retro purple sink, a really cool sink. Ooh, that's the best one yet. What a pretty color of yellow. Pink. These would be so cute in like a kid's room or, or not in an adult's room. Dude, is this a wooden bathtub? Dude, this is a wooden bathtub that's lined in like a metal liner. If I had a lake house, y'all be bathing in that. If I had a lake house, expect to bathe in that. Oh my gosh. date this guy <laughs> and he thought the phrase was Jesus marrying Joseph I know because he wrote it he wrote it in a text to me he wrote it out Jesus marrying Joseph 
to his credit, I guess that expression could make sense because that would have been a scandal back in the day. That would have made people explain. Jesus marrying Joseph. Yeah, that, that would have been a headline. I, okay, so what I ended up getting, listen, this is not the right place for my camera to be, but I can hardly move anything right now. I ended up getting one sort of painting thing, print, one little, I think it's like a hurricane lamp thing that you put, um, a hurricane vase that you can put a candle in. So hot, I'm just trying to remember how to breathe. Oh, and then I ended up getting that mirror. I don't know about the mirror. The mirror's a maybe. It might be, I think it might be a little too like, <sighs> I'm so filthy right now. I'm like literally covered in dirt. Like I have to wash my clothes, which means a successful day of thrifting. <laughs> to demo some styling options for you guys for these items, starting with the giant mirror. And lol, as soon as I got home, I remembered that I already have a mirror next to my mantle. I just forgot. I am moving stuff around my home so much that I just like forget what's there. And in this instance, I don't really want two mirrors next to each other. So I am probably gonna resell this big mirror I got today. But for now, I'm gonna show you how I might style it if I were keeping it anyway, so it can give you some ideas. There are infinite ways to arrange. And the best thing that you can do is to just like get in there, get your hands dirty and experiment. Tinker until the end of your days. And that's how you come up with the most fun and surprising arrangements, in my opinion. The art piece I got would actually fit perfectly over this electrical box in my hall, which is like a really easy way to cover up unsightly stuff on your wall but I think I like it most over top of this dresser. It's narrow and delicate so that it doesn't compete for attention with the main mantle focal point, which I have also rearranged, as you can see. I'm always rearranging stuff. I'm loving the hurricane lamp on my coffee table. If this isn't a hurricane lamp, tell me what it is. Please tell me. I'm liking it on my coffee table though because it adds some sculptural interest and height variation next to my magazines and this vase of flowers. I do also love the look of these pieces up on my wood dining table. There are infinite ways to arrange. This vase, by the way, I also thrifted for like $2 and that's that's in my last thrift antiquing video if you haven't watched that. Okay, well, I would describe myself as super freaking filthy, super sweaty, and very tired right now. This is the thing about thrifting, you know, is you have really have to dig. Be open-minded, know that it'll take you some time, don't get discouraged, you know, this is, my afternoon condensed into a 15 minute video or I don't know, however long it is. You know, I, this is like a several hour event. So you don't always find stuff, but just stay optimistic. I don't know. I'm trying to find some words of wisdom for the road, but I'm mostly just hungry. Yeah, I'm always looking for recommendations of other good, I feel like I've been to a lot of thrift right now. I'd like to hear good antique store recommendations. If you're familiar with the DC area, I'll go to Virginia, I'll go to Maryland. Okay, I'll do it. Thanks for hanging out. Remember to like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. I really appreciate it. And I think that's it. Okay, I'm gonna go. And I hope you have a great day. <laughs>